Hey everybody, welcome to another Pro Acoustics Tech Talk. I'm Nathan. I'm Colton. And we're here for a little bit more instructional uh, video for you today. Today we're going to be talking about how to hook up microphones to your 70 volt mixer amplifier, mm -hmm. regardless of whether or not you have an XLR input or a Phoenix or Euroblock type input. All right, Nathan, so the mysterious method of trying to hook up a microphone to a 70 volt amp, um, you know, there, there's been a lot of questions around, you know, we get asked all the time, you know, what's the, what's the difference between hooking up like a, you know, regular XLR cable that, you know, many people over the years have hooked up to a mixer board at their church or, you know, um, this is a little bit different, so kind of walk me through um, you know, the, the way to do it and yeah. how to properly do it. More, yeah, you most got importantly. it. You got it. So basically, uh, some mixer amplifiers like our MA series of mm -hmm. mixer amps actually have a XLR input right there on, on the input section. That makes things very easy. Yeah. Say you've got a wired microphone, like a conventional live audio microphone, like our yeah. UC1S. Uh, you've got a male to female XLR. You just plug it in. Away you go. Easy. Uh, so that is one option if there is an XLR input on the back of your mixer amp. Now, lots, and I would dare say even most, mm -hmm. uh, 70 volt mixer amps do not actually have uh, XLR inputs on the back. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with that. Yep. Uh, especially in the case of like our MA120, mm -hmm. or, or our RMA120, oh, yeah. uh, there's not a lot of room back there. So many times mm -hmm. installed Euroblock or Phoenix plug connectors, the, the green plugs on the back or the black plugs on the back of this AA50, uh, are there for you to connect, uh, to actually hardwire mm -hmm. your, uh, your cables right into the screw terminals yeah. and, and pop it in. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll answer another question. The Euroblock connectors always are included in, the sa in a little sack in the box yep. of whatever mixer amp you might have. So you have what you need in order to connect uh, to your mixer amplifier. Absolutely. So then the, the, the scenario comes up, okay, I'm gonna hook up a live audio microphone to my mixer amp, how do I do it? Yep. So you'll need uh, what's called a prep cable if you're getting it from us, which basically mm -hmm. has uh, bare wire connections on one side, tinned and stripped back, and then your XLR on the other. Uh, we also do sometimes have these with quarter inch connectors yeah. and sometimes male XLR to bare wire, but very, very simple, same concept. You just connect sure. your female side, your microphone, take your male side, connect it to the Euro block on whatever input you want to use. That now brings us to when you go to connect to those uh, Euro block connectors, you're going to have to know which wire goes where. Okay. So on an XLR, XLR looks something like this. You know, Mickey Mouse face, couple of different connectors. Gotcha. Depending on if you're looking at the male side or the female side, mm -hmm. these connectors correspond to different wires internally. Gotcha. Nine times out of 10, you're gonna find that these pins, with their little numbers next mm -hmm. to them, correspond to the following connections. So we've got a pin one, a pin two, and a pin three right there. Okay. Pin one is almost always ground. Pin two, almost always positive mm -hmm. and three almost always negative gotcha so that's how your XLR is wired mm -hmm. so as you see here on my wire I've got a I've got a ground or a shield I've got a uh, white which is gonna be my positive mm -hmm. my black which is gonna be my negative so you have those three there for your average XLR yep. to easily make that connection sometimes we're not using a pro audio um, uh, microphone like yep. this. Okay. Sometimes we're using a, a wireless mic receiver. Okay. Same concept. That same XLR female connector mm -hmm. can go right into the back of your uh, XLR um, wireless tr uh, receiver, receiver. Yeah. Uh, wire right into your mixer amplifier and away you go. Gotcha. This same concept also applies to uh, push to talk commercial grade yeah. microphones. Mm -hmm. uh, one of our favorites uh, that we use quite a bit in a lot of our designs is the Toa PM660U, which instead of three cables, it's got, if 
five wire. So I answer this question a lot too. So I'm going to go ahead and just fill everybody in on the on the Toa, which is a yeah. nice orange push to talk microphone. There's also some other manufacturers like Shure and mm -hmm. Bogan yep. and A Static guys that also make push to talk mics. Mm -hmm. But in those cases, many times you'll have as many as five wires. So there's not five wires on a three pin XLR. So what are the other yeah. two? Yep. The other two, nine times out of 10, are gonna be your mute. Mute, eh? Which corresponds to the button okay. on the push to talk mic and allows us to do a lot of the more commercial type stuff like priority mm -hmm. ducking that we've talked about in some previous okay. videos. Gotcha. Uh, in the case of the uh, Toa PM660U, I'll go ahead and give you the magic answers for which wires yeah. or what color. Uh, so your first wire on this uh, on this Toa, um, if you you know just pick one of them, you're going to find your red is your negative, your white is your positive, your ground is just your shield, and then you've got black and blue, which are your mutes. Mm. If you're going from basically your uh, PM660U right into a uh, 70 volt mixer amp and you don't have room for a mute, then you can just use these guys. No need to use your mute gotcha. uh, if you don't actually need the muting function yep. or it's built into the mixer amplifier. Yeah, yeah, I think that throws off a lot of people when they have too many options too and then they get, it, they get everything, you know, m mixed around a lot. But. Yeah, exactly. So the name of the game here, you know, is to, uh, uh, keep in mind that just because you don't have a, an, a XLR input on no. the back of your mixer amplifier, all is not lost. Yeah. Uh, you might have some of these cables that we included in your package. Mm -hmm. That's what they're for is to be able to connect right to your mixer amp. Mm -hmm. uh, just go to the input that you need. Mm -hmm. Keep in mind this scheme here mm -hmm. and uh, make your yeah. connections. Yeah, so I have one question. So say you don't have like a prepped in cable laying around, right? Um, and you have a, just a cable like this and you get your system, you're all uh, ready to go, plug up your mic and everything. Um, is all hope lost if you actually don't have this specific you know, cable and everything? What do you do in that case? Not at all. See, the only difference between this cable and this cable is that this one has the male end yeah. on it. Uh, so you can actually remove um, the male connector from a you know a cable that's already been yeah. built you know from a music store. You just Basically, all you do is just sniff, sniff this off. off. I know you might be reluctant to do that, but trust me, this is a four or five dollar yeah. connector. Um, mm -hmm. Don't be too too scared right. about it. Yeah. Strip it back, pull back your wires, twist them up nice mm -hmm. and neat, tin them uh, with solder um, if you have it available, um, or put a connector on there, and yep. then uh, it's ready to go into your Euroblock connections on your 70 volt mixer amplifier. Absolutely, uh, nice and easy. Um, we, like I said, we try to include these prep cables where we need in our packages. Yep. Um, so we try to make life easier for you Absolutely. as far as that goes. Mm -hmm. um, to see more about these packages, check out our website, www.proacousticsusa.com. Mm -hmm. uh, you can reach me via email at nathan at proacoustics.com. And I'm Colton with an I at proacoustics.com. Uh, and you can give us a call at 888-256. Four one one two. Let us know what you have going on, how Absolutely. we can help. Uh, enjoy the video, share the content if it's helpful. Tell your friends. Let us know down below if we can help with anything else and like and follow us. Mm -hmm. And uh, be sure to check out our Amazon store, uh, check out our website, and um, don't be a stranger. Let us know how we can help. All right, until next time, I'm Colton. I'm Nathan. We'll see you.